China's Mega Bridge Building Machine This video will look at China's Mega Bridge Building Iron Monster, the SLJ-932. So let's get started. China is currently thriving with numerous land and sea based transportation networks. These networks are being created to link China's rising economy with the economies of other African, European and Asian nations. The Chinese government is doing everything it can to ensure that President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to connect 70 countries or two thirds of the world's population, succeeds via various land and sea routes. The BRI's key goals are to expand cross-border trade, encourage economic growth, and improve regional integration. This initiative was partly initiated by the Silk Road established by the Han Dynasty of China over 2,000 years ago. From the 2nd century BCE through the 18th century, this intricate network of trade routes was crucial to economic, political, religious, and cultural exchanges between Asia and Europe. Although some critics have dismissed the BRI as a project of Chinese foreign policy, accusing it of burdening poorer countries with billions of dollars in Chinese debt, the initiative has already developed some incredible new technology that will ensure the initiative's success. They have been building extraordinary bridges all over the country, all within this initiative. Even more fascinating is how fast they build these bridges, but how do they do it? Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we will take a look at one of China's mega bridge building machines. This machine has changed how we see the whole construction industry. But before we proceed, take a moment to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And with that, let's have a look at this monster machine. The SLJ-932, nicknamed the Iron Monster, is a gigantic segmental bridge launching machine that has fascinated industry watchers around the world. The Iron Monster was designed by the Shishen Wang Railway Institute and was manufactured by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company. This mammoth of a machine is 91.8 meters long, 7.4 meters wide, and weighs about 580 tons. It is 9 meters high and comes with a loaded speed of 5 kilometers an hour and an unload speed of 8 kilometers per hour. This is a whole new way of building bridges without using complex and expansive scaffolding or framework structures. The Iron Monster is functional and straightforward. It is also a totally different way of building bridges than traditional bridge construction devices. Suppose you see it outside of a construction site. In that case, you might think it's just a vehicle transporting heavy materials and structures on the road. This is because it does not really feature any conventional crane technology used for bridges. Instead, it is mainly used to build high-speed railway tracks quickly and efficiently, especially in areas with large sections of the route that need to be suspended over canyons and valleys to avoid bends. This phenomenal all-in-one bridge building machine has a total of 64 wheels. It can lift, carry, and place track pieces on bridge supports. Heavy stone blocks are used to link one pillar to the next. The machine's 64 wheels are separated into 16 fully rotating blocks, allowing it to maneuver elegantly and shift sideways. Before lowering a pneumatic support structure, the Iron Monster lifts a beam from its point of origin and drives it to the bridge pillars. The first pillar will function as the machine's anchor. This enables the machine to reach the second pillar and then the third and so on. It continues to deposit the following beam as it extends. This makes it a very effective and fuss-free operation. It also takes a lot less time than the usual crane-centric construction process. The machine travels to the very edge of the bridge's installed segments during the construction process it then uses a temporary track to reach out to the remaining beams. Once this track is stable, the Iron Monster moves forward with the new segment of the ridge in tow. The portion is then lowered, allowing the construction crew to begin their work. The technique is repeated with the following beam when the segment has been fastened. One of the drawbacks of utilizing cranes to construct a bridge is that they prevent using full-size beams or pillars, which are difficult to lift and move. As a result, the beams and other materials used in this process must be cut into parts 
no longer than a few meters long. During the construction phase, these components are then joined together. On the other hand, the Iron Monster has avoided the Sephlorius stages by allowing the use of full-length beams and pillars that were expressly constructed for it. After that, expansion joints connect all of the prefabricated sections together. The Iron Monster constructs one segment of the bridge before returning to gather the next. It accomplishes this with the assistance of its wheels. After that, it moves on to lay the next part of the bridge over the newly laid segment. Its speed of 5 kilometers an hour when fully loaded ensures that the entire bridge process is super fast. This machine was specifically designed for building long bridges that comprise numerous spans. A span is a distance between two immediate structural supports, such as bridge beams. The Iron Monster's main job is to move, install, and secure the bridge's final segments to the pre-installed beams or supports. It has the potential to construct bridges both in metropolitan settings and in the wilderness. It was once used to build one such bridge in the forest between the cities of Genzhou and Xingdu. The Iron Monster can lay down 700 to 1,000 bridge spans during its estimated lifetime. Such machines, known as launching gantries, can be used for an average of about four years before they are replaced. Because of its vast size, the Iron Monster can only be checked, cleaned, and maintained by a dedicated crew. This is necessary to ensure safety. To be hired to operate and maintain it, you would require extensive harness and height training. One of the most significant benefits of using the Iron Monster is that, with a weight of 580 tons, it is way heavier than any of the railway traffic that is likely to pass over the tracks on which it is laying the bridge. Therefore, to handle the weight of the machine, the bridges have to be stronger. Eventually, the bridges constructed with this machine will be much larger and more robust than those required to support the rail networks for which they are designed. This gives the bridges an extra layer of safety by ensuring that the bridges connecting China to the world can carry heavier weight loads than necessary. So far, the Iron Monster has been used to complete several high-speed rail projects across China. It is set to propel the country towards its ambitious goal of 30,000 kilometers of high-speed rail service within the next few years. There is a new railway link between the remote region of Inner Mongolia and the rest of the country that was recently built with the help of the gigantic machine. The Yibin Jinsho River Railway Bridge that links the Sichuan and Gunzhou province of China was also made using the Iron Monster. This is the longest road rail steel arch bridge globally, having a double layered structure. It has a high-speed rail on the upper layer and a roadway on the lower layer. For those of you who are unsure what an arch bridge is, it features abutments shaped like a curved arch at each end. It primarily works by partially distributing some of the weight of the bridge. It also loads onto the abutment on either side. The Guardianship Bridge, constructed by the China Railway Major Bridge Engineering Group, is 1,875 meters long its main span is an incredible 336 meters in length. This bridge and the associated rail line played a significant role in shortening the travel times between Gaiyang and the capital of Gazhou, and Qingdu, the capital of Shizhuan, from 12 hours to 3 hours. So with this machine, China can build unique bridges over a brief period. That's it for today's video. What do you think of the Iron Monster? Feel free to let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the following video.